Can you see this view behind me? <laughs> Welcome to Gran Canaria. So we drove all the way through the mountains to get to this place. Then we got here, we paid a three euro entrance, which I think is fair enough for the view you get. So basically this is where we are. And check this place out. So back in the day, the natives carved in the mountain these silos, these storage points. Apparently they were used for storage of grains and food and some kind of tools. I find this super interesting because if you come here and visit this island, you'll soon realize it's not much fertile land. You don't have many opportunities of growing crops here. And whatever they did manage to grow, they were storing in these kind of places. It's just insane to live back then. The cameraman, my girlfriend, keeps saying I'm cringe because I act like a philosopher saying these kind of things, but I don't. I don't act like anything. I honestly think this is pretty interesting. Okay, but this was just a 20 minute stop because we're driving around the island the whole day, baby. I know you can't hear me, but I need to take a photo of that lighthouse. Now! It's almost 8 o'clock in the evening and I'm having coffee. But actually in Spain that's, that's normal. I know, I know, you're asking yourself what am I doing on a Friday morning in Gran Canaria? <laughs> well, I'm going at the market. I'm at the market. Moyo verde. These are potatoes. One more. You don't find this everywhere. Three for ten, that's a great deal. Okay, to be honest, my favorites are actually the flea markets where I feel like I'm in a museum that I can buy stuff from. But this market today, at least I could buy something local, which is the spices. We had them the other day in the restaurant. Moyo verde? <laughs> okay, and if you're interested, thank me later. I'm giving you the recipe on the screen right now. So my conclusion after a couple of days of being in Gran Canaria is you should just rent a car and drive around and try to see as much as possible. Unless of course you're into these you know, resort locations and you want to stay at the pool all day even though the Atlantic Ocean is a couple of meters away, you do you, I get it. Maybe you have kids, maybe you go with older siblings. I don't judge. However, I think you should just get a car and see all the little villages and towns they have here because each of them is really a different experience. Actually, that's pretty much the reason of why yesterday I didn't have much time to talk to you guys because we were just driving around from town to town, you know, have a little drink or a bit of food and then go on to the next one. Oh, this is where we're going now. Holy, can you see behind me? Okay, this doesn't give it justice. I have to put my drone up. Okay, this area is also one of a kind and it's actually in the southern part of the island. The sand dunes of Las Palomas. Las Palomas. Mas Palomas, okay? Mas. And except for nice weather, sand everywhere, 
and a nice barefoot walk there's not much to show you yeah i'm not saying this this is not a nice view but from up there <laughs> that's something else We had amazing weather for the first three days and now for the last two we got this but to be honest it didn't bother us yesterday we still drove up north we went to las palmas had some food some coffee we saw the city it's nice it's really nice to just drive around and see the island but today uh, we are fighting with the weather today uh, it kind of stopped for a while we we went to this great restaurant in an amazing location with good food now we're at the edge of this cliff where i wanted to take some shots also show you guys around but i'm waiting i really want the rain to calm down for just a minute so i can take a shot from here because it's an amazing location it's a new I wish I could say sunny day, but it's not raining either. It is Monday, and I got one for you. What do you do on a Monday morning in Gran Canaria? What I was about to say is have some rum. <laughs> you heard me right. I wanted to have rum on a Monday morning because this island is famously known for the production of rum. Actually, the distillery is right behind me. But we came all the way up here, up north, to find it closed. So that's the bad news, but the good news is we can buy this brand of rum in pretty much any store here on the island, so <laughs> I will do that. So I got my rum to enjoy it when I get back home. The thing to do in this kind of weather is to drive around to these little towns and enjoy the local food because... <laughs> because I like food! And Spanish food? If you haven't seen my vlog from Madrid, <laughs> you should. After three full rainy days, the island rewarded us with this. We are literally on top of the clouds right now. I've only seen this type of view from the plane. Oh yeah, and the rock behind me is one of the biggest standing rocks in Europe. I think this place is the second or third highest peak on the island. I'm sure editing Alex will correct me. Tomorrow around lunchtime we have a flight back to Denmark, but today we're enjoying the weather. I'm telling you, even driving up here was an experience in itself. We stopped a couple of times on the way to take some photos because the view was just amazing. And by the time I put my ND filter and set up the camera, the clouds were coming up so fast that all of a sudden I couldn't see anything anymore. So then we had to hurry all the way up here to make sure I get some good, good shots. So yeah, if I didn't make it clear by now, this place is a must to visit if you ever come to Gran Canaria. But what's even cooler is the time lapse I took for you guys. <laughs> oh. 
Okay, before I end the vlog, I want to show you something. If you've seen my Spanish vlog from Madrid, you may remember I said that I like to bring small things back home from the places that I travel. And of course, maybe just like you, I like, you know, small souvenirs, you know, I get magnets for my fridge, but I'm not talking about that. I mean, alcohol, <laughs> spices, anything related with food. So basically, I want to show you what I bought to bring back home to Denmark. But you've seen me buy the rum. This is specific to the island and I can't wait to try it out. And just to finish with the alcohol, I bought one more rum. This is a honey rum, also made here on the island. And this coffee liquor that looked pretty interesting to me, of course, locally made. This island is the only place in Europe where they still make coffee. They make it in very small amounts. So I bought this pack to try it out when I go back home. And actually what we didn't get to do because of the rain is visit the plantation and take a guided tour because you can see how they make it. And of course, taste it there. But I did manage to find a store that actually sells this. This is something I bought today. This is basically almond honey or almond gem. I don't know how to call it, but it's almond based. So you can have this with yogurt, with cheese. You can put it on top of ice cream. It's amazing. Now, if you're anything like me, you need sauce when you eat pretty much anything. Now, the Spanish really know their spices. So I bought this couple of spices jars to make myself Moyo Rosso and Moyo Verde when I get back home. If you don't know one of those, Google it. If you know, you know. And there's something else. Okay, okay, I, I really like Lomo. And some cheese. Oh, right, I almost forgot. Um, chocolate? Now this is a Spanish brand and actually this island is the only place in Europe where they grow cacao beans. Coco, cacao, cacao. So yeah, they make the beans here and they produce the chocolate on the island. When I heard that, I was like, okay, I need to buy some. Okay, enough with the shopping list. I want to pull a short conclusion of our one week stay here in Gran Canaria. Yes, of course I wish it didn't rain three days out of seven, however, this island has to offer a lot. So even though it was raining, we did enjoy our time and we did get out and we drove around as I told you before. Which brings me to my first point. I said it at the beginning of this vlog. If you come here, get a car because it's so nice to be able to visit the whole island in such a short time. Because look, if you come here just to stay on the beach and take a bath in the ocean, I mean, that's fine by me. However, there are other places in Europe where you can do that. I think if you come here, you gotta have a bit of everything. Obviously, try the local food and drinks. But if you would ask me if I'll ever come here again, I'll probably say not anytime soon. And that's not because I don't like the island. If I would come to the Canary Islands again, I would most probably visit Tenerife, which is the biggest of them all. And I'm sure depending on what part of the world you're coming from, this island will have a total different effect on you than it had on me. You know, I'm used with mountains. I'm used with high altitudes. I come from Romania where we have mountains over 2000 meters. But this scenery here, it's totally different. But guys, I think I'll end the vlog here. Thank you so much if you made it so far. Please remember to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Like this video and I'll see you next week. <laughs> Hasta luego.